Well, it's Thanksgiving season here in the US, and so we need a Thanksgiving cocktail. But before we get started, you might notice something different about the video. Yes, we are now filming in beautiful 4K resolution. The downside of that is that all the imperfections get put into focus, so let me just uh, take care of myself a bit here, give me a second. All right, that should do the trick. Okay, let's see the thanks teeny. Well, I just ralphed. <laughs> how much did you guys drink last night? Not how much. What? The thanks teeny. A fun and delicious new novelty drink I invented. Cranberry juice, potato vodka, and a bouillon cube. Tastes just like a turkey dinner. Mmm. It's like Thanksgiving in my mouth. I'll be the judge of that. Let's start with some potato vodka, which isn't potato flavored, but just distilled from a potato mash. Add two ounces or 60 mils of the vodka. Then we're gonna add four ounces or 120 mils of our cranberry juice or a cranberry juice cocktail from Concentrate for those watching in 4K. Add to a shaker tin with ice, shake for about 15 seconds, and then double strain into a martini glass. And then we'll finish with the most um, innovative component of this cocktail, the bouillon cube. And the first thing you notice is it does not dissolve on its own. So we're gonna take a muddler and see if we can break up this dehydrated chicken stock cube into something we can actually ingest. And already this is starting to look pretty sad, but who knows, it may stop being sad and be awesome instead, let's find out. Right away you get that hit of sodium from the bouillon cube and it just kind of finishes like a vodka cranberry. It's like Thanksgiving in your mouth if your Thanksgivings are very disappointing. Let's see if we can't make a better version of the thanks teeny. And so to get started, let's think about the types of flavors that are iconically fall and Thanksgiving related. Things like cranberry, cinnamon, maple, wine, and sage. Let's try to work some of those flavors into something delicious. We're gonna start with some port, which is a fortified wine often served as a dessert wine. Now there are many different types of ports, but here we're using a ruby style, which is a deep colored red port that will impart some red berry and cinnamon flavors. So let's add one ounce or 30 mils of our ruby port. And we have some maple syrup here. Try to use grade A dark and robust taste maple syrup, half an ounce or 15 mils. To balance that out, we're gonna add three fourths of an ounce or about 22 mils of fresh lemon juice. Now these flavors are gonna pair really well with a dry gin, which is what we're gonna use here. If you prefer dark spirits during this time of year, go ahead and use a whiskey, maybe a wild turkey. Here we're gonna add one ounce or 30 mils of our gin. Now it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without cranberry, so instead of using cranberry juice, we're gonna be using a heaping bar spoon of canned cranberry sauce. Just drop it right in. Add everything to a shaker tin with ice, shake for about 15 seconds, and the shaking's going to mash up and incorporate that cranberry sauce. Once you're done, just put it aside. Now we're gonna serve this over crushed ice. So put some ice in a Lewis bag like this and bang on it so the camera bounces around. After it's been nicely pulverized, pour the ice into a rocks glass like this. Then we're gonna double strain our new and improved Thanks Teeny into the rocks glass. And we can already see that beautiful deep red color. And we're gonna finish this cocktail with a garnish of sage, which has a very warm herbal aroma. So pick a small bunch of sage and then we're gonna clap it in our hands to release the aroma. After that, drop it over the top of the drink. All right, this thing is starting to melt, so it's time to give it a taste. Cheers. Right away you can taste the richness of the port wine and the berry flavor and it's nicely balanced by the lemon and cranberry. And when you get your nose in there, that sage aroma is fantastic. Barney Stinson may be awesome, but he could really step up his cocktail game. Hey guys, just a quick thank you to all my Patreon patrons for supporting the channel. It allowed me to upgrade the camera so now we're shooting in 4K and will enable a lot of other cool stuff in the future. If you're enjoying the channel and have the means to donate, consider donating a couple bucks a month to Cocktail Chemistry, and you'll also get access to exclusive bonus content.